Welcome to the Hi Refresher videos. Remember these videos will only make sense if you've attended the training program. Hi and welcome. This video is all about teaching you how to teach your student pitch reading. All right. Um, as you know, we teach pitch separately and we teach rhythm separately as far as notation reading is concerned and in pitch reading we further bifurcated into teaching how to read pitch without the instrument and teaching how to read pitch with the instrument quite naturally and obviously if you can't read this you won't know how to play it right so it's important that you know how to read this first and then we move on to actually using it with the instrument all right so the first thing is really simple and our whole book and curriculum has been designed such that you first let's say just take three notes because that's really simple right if i were to show my student this let's say i put on a beat and say um and ready steady this say c and this say e d and this say e and this say d and this say and this say and once they've got that i can go a little further and go ready steady ready watch this 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 say c d e now this 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 say and this 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 say e d c and this 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 say and they would have grasped the concept of these three pitches however they probably might just might get used to the fact that c is first d is always in the middle and e is always third therefore to confuse your student a little further and prepare them for real world reading we do what we call a three note trick which is we rearrange the same three notes in different formations right so using the same thing I go ready, steady, ready now. This, this, this. Say C E D, and this, this, this. Say D C E, or this, this, this. Say E D C, and I can go a little faster once they've got that. And ready, steady, ready, and ready, steady. This say C. E D say 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 so post this they would have had a fairly good understanding of the three notes and it's highly unlikely they would ever forget where these three notes are falling right assuming you've done three notes and the book takes you to three notes then you add three more notes you've done six notes add three more notes you've done nine notes and so on and so forth until you're actually comfortable reading all the notations as as they are falling on those staff lines right let's say once you've done that and maybe you've gone through all the seven or the eight notes you can actually do all eight notes using what we call a single moving pitch like it would sound like this and ready steady ready watch this 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 ready steady say C D E F G ready steady watch this 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 ready steady go B A G F and so on and so forth this the idea of this is first keep it a little easy for your student you're moving in a single line up and down right and once you've got that great fun to do this exercise randomly write the notes wherever you want and make your student get it so and this goes in one continuous motion i won't stop to say this 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 or this 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 you get the whole thing together so ready steady ready say c e g b a d f d c and get your student to do that you write random notes i as a teacher will do it keep changing the notes this makes their reading pitch reading really really strong and really really fun and once you've done that you can do the exactly the same thing now with the instrument so if i've done this 
and say ready steady this play and 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 similarly ready steady this play this play this play and then you can come here once they are a little more advanced you can go through all the seven or eight notes and finally you could come here and do exactly the same thing so other than what's happening in the book this is a very good breakaway to actually teach your students how to read pitch in a fun manner right so please use these techniques it will really really make learning a lot more fun for your student